Hi guys, welcome back to the FM Recruiter, I'm Paul, and in this episode we're going to bring you the end of our second season in the Championship. Well, what a season it's been. If you have a look at our fixture results, they have genuinely been fantastic, considering if you recall um, in our first season we were battling relegation for the majority of of our time in the league, the fact that we've gone on such a good, you know, we had such a good start to the season, the middle bit, we hit, had some draws, we had some defeats, but you know what? We pulled it back and this run of results, yes, we lost 2-0 to Stoke. Yes, we lost 2-1 to Luton and Bournemouth, but we've won pretty much every game. It's been amazing and it takes us to here. Final day of the season. We're playing West Brom. They've got nothing to play for. They're 15th. They can't get relegated and they can't make the playoffs. Well, we're sat in third. And if Burnley and Blackburn both slip up, we will go up to the Premier League as champions. If they don't slip up, then we're going to the playoffs. It is promising to be an exciting end to the season. And first up, we've got our game against West Brom. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> Now, we are away in this game. We're at the Hawthorns, and they are playing a flat 4-4-2. Danny Ward, the Welsh goalkeeper, used to play for Wrexham in goal from so hopefully he can do us a favour. We're still with that 4-3-3, but the big change since our last episode is Daniel Davis is now a keen, key mainstay of our midfield. Leighton Clarkson has dropped to the bench. Still a very important part of our team, but Daniel Davis has matched his performances um, and has a good relationship with uh, Barros and Lang, uh, Longstaff in the middle. So let's see if we can get off to a really good start here. When we've started games well, we have ran out and absolutely dominated Longstaff to Felipe, who's had another good season. Surely he's not going to cross. We've got a five foot four striker, but he dinks it. And it's 1 0. Four minutes on the clock, and we take the lead against West Brom at the Hawthorns. Freddie Asaka scores yet another goal this season. I think, and we'll see it on the replay here, had this not gone through to Osaka, probably would have been a penalty. Let's have a look. Longstaff dinks it in, and Cannonier was taken out by Furlong anyway, so it probably would have been a penalty. Let's get those round the um, round the ground results up. We've got them up here. So Burnley are away at Bournemouth. Blackburn are losing to Reading. What a result that would be. Five minutes on the clock at Ewood Park, and it's 1-0 to Reading. Can they do us a big favour as well? Rojas takes a throw in for West Brom, but most importantly, we have got to do our job. And if we don't do our job, we'll only have ourselves to blame. That was good goalkeeper from Jaros who came out, collected the ball. What a season he's had, by the way. He's only conceded, I think, 29 goals so far this season. Um, and considering he became our number one in League Two when we replaced Vigoro with him, who got us promoted from the National League, he has been such a good signing. Long ball over the top to Felipe. Felipe's through. Felipe scores. It's 2-0 after 13 minutes. And we're running away with it. West Brom don't seem to have an answer to our quick wingers, which uh, this ball here, is it Norrington David? No, it's not. He plays it to Barras. Longstaff, his range of passing, I must, got to tell you, it's been so good for us this season. Even though we're playing short passing, his ability to pick out that long over the top ball is key. Blackburn is still losing. Longstaff with a corner. Doyle flicks it on and it's just over the bar. He has been a good signing as well. Coming in in January, Callum Doyle. Um, as well as Reese Norrington Davis, he has been another very good signing. Um, and we are obviously keeping the results on those eye on those other results. Burnley are drawing. So they took the lead, but Lacelso has just equalized for Bournemouth. What a last day. Of the season, this could be Osaka on the ball, but he loses it out to Park. Furlong, but Furlong's lost it to Osaka. Bursts into the box, he shoots, and he puts it over the bar. He goes, goes for a corner, actually. It was a, looked like a good save then. I didn't think he saved that personally, but hey, we're going to take it. Longstaff, corner, whipped in, and it's cleared, but it only goes as far as Osaka on the edge of the box. Plays it to Dan Davis. Dan Davis shoots, and that is clear over the bar. The Mohawk. He just couldn't get it on target. I love that guy's haircut. But we are sitting top of the league. Reading now 2-0 up. Oh, what a result that is, or what a score it is as we head to half time. Bournemouth beat it. Bournemouth are drawing with Burnley still as well. So as it stands, we are going up as champions. And we're just going to send them out nice and happy. 
as we've done all season. One thing we did before this game, we had a team meeting and we told them that nobody expects us to win the league. And what a shock it would be because we've been sat third pretty much most of the season. We haven't been able to get past Burnley or Blackburn at the top. What a shock this would be if we go up as champions, keeping an eye on both of those results. So Bournemouth are now beating Burnley. Wow. Let's make a few substitutions here. We want to make sure that this team stays nice and fresh. So we are going to bring um, Royal Walters on off the bench. We're also going to uh, have a look at our wingers there, playing pretty well. Daniel Davis. Look at that rating for Matty Longstaff there. Um, okay, I think we're going to keep it at that for now. Just the one change. What a result that is coming from the South Coast in Bournemouth. This is huge now for us. If we go up as champions... There will be, oh, that's a silly tackle by Asaka, but he gets away with it. No foul. I think he was probably going to go back and get a booking for it. Callum Doyle cut out the long ball. Norrington Davis with a long ball up to Cannonier. Cannonier, again, he's five foot four. He's not going to win anything, but he wins the tackle and it's recovered and played back to Danny Ward. Danny Ward, that's a long ball. Doyle, he is a monster in the air. He has struck up a really good partnership with Bernard as well, but Bernard has got to get rid of that. Don't let them score. And they've, you, D and me, Daryl Dyke. As I talked up, the confident pairing I have at the back. Deshaun Bernard has just made probably his first mistake, I think, of the season. And what a time to make it. It is not the time we want silly mistakes. He should have just cleared his lines. He didn't. He took a touch, lost control of the ball. And Dyke came in to make it 2-1. We've got 20 minutes to play. We need to make a few subs here. Let's have a look. We're going to take Bernard off. And we're going to put Yaboa Amanquar on. We're going to take Danny Davis off for Leighton Clarkson as well. Just to give us a little bit of steel in there. Um, and I'm going to bring on Cameron Archer up front. As Cannonier is having a quiet game. He's not really involved in it too much. Let's keep an eye on those scores. Bournemouth still 2-1. Blackburn 2-0. We have... Even if we drop this lead, we'll still get promoted, but I want the league. It's a massive, massive chance for us this. We're entering injury time. Longstaff plays it through to Archer. Can Archer see it, but he's gone wide. Cuts back to Felipe. Felipe. Oh, it's cleared. Oh, what? Oh, my days. The Danny Ward has got so lucky. Archer was offside anyway. Four minutes of added on time here at the Hawthorns and West Brom are on the attack. We've got 60 seconds to play. It's a long ball recovered by Walters. Just get rid of it. Don't start messing around with it at the back now. Well, we've played our way out of trouble. And Cameron Archer's turned his defender, but he got caught. He's lost a yard of pace, Cameron Archer, really. He's not match fit. And the long ball from Longstaff doesn't meet any Wrexham player. And it's cleared by Danny Ward. We can't concede here, surely. Cameron Archer to Clarkson. Clarkson to Osaka. Tackle. Good tackle that by the last man there. 30 seconds on the clock. Can we seal this here? What a win this would be to give us the league title. Asaka runs his man. Good run from Asaka down the left. Go and waste time. Don't, don't drive into the box. Oh, Felipe, never mind. Ignore me. 3-1. That is game, set, and match. I really thought we were going to end up in the playoffs, which is why I've only shown the last league game of the season. We're going to waste a bit of time here with some subs. My Longstaff's going to come off for Luis Fioroni, um, which is why I've only shown this game, as I was saying. So, um, wow, I'm really kind of shocked by that. But let's watch this, and here we go. Wrexham AFC are in the Premier League next season for... what? Right, what a run we've had. So this is this will be our fifth season in charge. We won the National League. We won League Two. We won League One. We survived relegation in our fourth season in the championship. We looked like we were dead and buried at one point. We ended up rocketing to mid-table at the end of the season. And this season has just been phenomenal. We have gone on and we have lifted the Sky Bet Championship trophy on the last day of the season with a 3-1 win away to West Brom. Um, I'm genuinely speechless. I didn't think this was going to happen. Uh, so that is absolutely amazing. Let's have a look how the rest of the game's finished today, though. Right, and there you can see the league table. So we won the league by one point. We had a goal difference of 51. 
Uh, let's have a look at the results. So Blackburn nearly pulled it back. They finished 2-1 against Reading. And if we go down to Bournemouth, Bournemouth beat Burnley 2-1. Wow, what a season. What a season that is. I can't, I genuinely can't believe we're in the Premier League. Now is the time to review the squad um, and rebuild. We're obviously now going to start getting a lot more money, but what we don't want to do is change this core of our squad. Players like Cannoneer, Felipe, um, Isaka, Longstaff, Dan, D Daniel Davis. These are all players that have played with us for seasons um, and they've all been fantastic. So we're going to give them the chance in the Premier League. Absolutely. Um, Yaros, again, is going to get a chance to play in the Premier League. He didn't get that with Liverpool, so he'll get that with me um, at Wrexham. But wow, I can't, I can't put it into words how, how great that is of a, uh, of a season. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying the series. But next year, we're in the Premier League and we're going to try and survive and avoid relegation. Um, and when you come back and when we show you the next episode, we will show you how we got on in pre-season. And we'll show you our first two games as a Premier League side. I'll see you all soon, guys. Have a good one.